Congratulations on the purchase of your new Tenant Model S30 sweeper. Not only will your machine's highly efficient cleaning systems perform well the day you receive it, but for a long time to come. This operator training video will be presented in sections. Safety, how the sweeping systems work, controls and instrumentation, pre-operational checks, changing the brushes, cleaning with your machine, and emptying and cleaning the machine. It is the operator's responsibility to read and understand the operator manual and operate the machine safely. The safety labels that appear on the machine indicate important information you need to be aware of when operating the machine. How the sweeping systems work. Your machine can effectively sweep dirty areas. With the engine speed increased to the normal sweeping speed, the vacuum fan turned on and the brushes lowered, the machine is ready to sweep. As the machine travels forward, the side brush pulls debris from the side of the machine into the path of the main sweeping brush. The main brush sweeps the debris from the floor into the hopper. A vacuum fan draws airborne dust through a highly efficient three-stage dust filtration system called Sweep Smart, and clean air is exhausted. Controls and instrumentation. The key switch is used to start and stop the engine. If your machine is equipped with a diesel engine and it is cold, you should turn the key switch slightly past the run position until the glow plug indicator light turns on. Hold the key in this position for 15 to 20 seconds and then start the engine. The steering wheel can be adjusted for operator comfort. Press on the adjustment lever and position the steering wheel. When the lever is released, the steering wheel will lock into position. The horn button is placed in the center of the steering wheel for easy access. There are indicator lights in front of the operator on the right control panel. The check engine indicator will illuminate if an engine problem is detected. If the check engine indicator illuminates while the engine is running, turn off your machine and contact a qualified service person. On diesel engine equipped machines, the glow plug indicator illuminates when the glow plugs are energized. The hydraulic temperature indicator comes on when the hydraulic fluid is too hot. If this happens, contact a qualified service person. The clogged hydraulic filter indicator comes on when the hydraulic filter is clogged. If this happens, contact a qualified service person. The stalled brush indicator comes on when the main sweeping brush is stalled. This means the main brush is adjusted too low or there is debris lodged in the brush. If this indicator comes on, adjust the brush or remove the debris from the brush compartment. The headlights, running lights, tail lights, and the optional strobe light are controlled by a switch on the dash panel. Press the top of the switch to turn on the headlights, running lights, tail lights, and the optional warning light. Place the switch in the middle position to turn on the headlights, running lights, and tail lights. When the key switch is turned to the off position, the lights will turn off and turn on again when your machine is restarted. Press the bottom of the switch to turn off all lights. The optional side brush light switch controls the side brush light. Press the top of the switch to turn the light on and the bottom to turn it off. The optional vacuum wand is controlled by the vacuum wand switch. Another indicator display is in front of the operator on the left control panel. The charging system indicator comes on when the alternator is not operating within the normal range. If this indicator comes on, stop the machine immediately and correct the problem. The water temperature indicator comes on when the engine coolant is too hot. If this indicator comes on, stop the machine and correct the problem. The fuel level indicator comes on when the fuel level is low. If this indicator comes on, refuel the machine as soon as possible. If there is excessive heat in the hopper, this excessive heat indicator comes on. Immediately stop the machine and correct the problem. The engine oil pressure indicator comes on when the engine oil pressure is low. If this indicator comes on, stop the machine and correct the problem. 
The clogged dust filter indicator comes on if the dust filter is clogged. If this indicator comes on, press the filter shaker button to clean the dust filter. For gasoline machines, the fuel level indicator displays the amount of fuel remaining in the tank. The fuel indicator consists of a series of indicator bars. As fuel is depleted from the tank, the bars disappear from the display. Refill the gasoline or diesel fuel tank when there is only one bar left on the indicator. For propane powered machines, all the indicator bars are on to show that there is some fuel in the tank. The propane fuel gauge on the tank indicates the amount of fuel in the propane tank. The hour meter records the hours of machine operation. Use this information to determine machine service intervals. Engine speed is controlled with the engine RPM switch. Placing the switch in the middle position will increase the engine speed to the normal operating speed. This speed is for general sweeping conditions. Placing the switch in the top position increases the engine speed to the litter speed. This speed should only be used when sweeping light litter, like paper. Placing the switch in the bottom position decreases the engine speed to idle. This is the position the switch should be in when the engine is turned off. The vacuum fan filter shaker switch starts and stops the fan. It also initiates the timed dust filter shaker system. To start the vacuum fan, press the top of the switch. The fan will start when the main brush is lowered. To stop the vacuum fan, place the switch in the middle position. To initiate the timed filter shaker system, press and release the bottom of the switch. There are two other rocker switches located to the left of the operator. The rocker switch on the left is the hopper raise and lower control switch. Note, before raising the hopper, be aware that the ceiling height required is 98 inches or 2.5 meters. To raise the hopper, press and hold the bottom of the hopper up down rocker switch. Warning. When working around or under a raised hopper, engage the hopper safety leg. To lower the hopper, remove the hopper safety leg, then press and hold the top of the hopper up down rocker switch. The rocker switch on the right is the hopper door open and close switch. You can press the lower half of the hopper door open close switch to open the hopper door. Press the upper half of the hopper door open close switch to close the hopper door. When you turn on the cleaning systems with the switch in this position, the hopper door automatically opens. It automatically closes when you turn off the cleaning systems. To activate the main brush, lower the main brush lever to the working position. To deactivate the main brush, raise the main brush lever to the up and locked position. The main brush idler plug has a brush wear indicator that is used to determine the amount of main brush remaining. Replace the main brush when indicated. To maintain the proper adjustment, observe the main brush indicator and adjust the control lever to match the wear level. To adjust the control lever, loosen the securing knob, move the guide to the proper location, and secure the knob. To activate the side brush, lower the side brush lever. To deactivate the side brush, raise the lever to the up and locked position. The side brush adjustment knob is located below the lever. Turn the knob to the left to lower the side brush and to the right to raise it. The machine direction of travel and propel speed are controlled by a foot pedal. Press on the top of the foot pedal to propel the machine forward. Press the bottom of the foot pedal to propel the machine in reverse. The further you press the foot pedal in either direction, the faster the machine propels. Remove your foot from the pedal and the machine will slow down. The pedal to the left of the propelling pedal is the brake pedal. Depress the brake pedal to stop the machine. To set the parking brake with the brake pedal depressed, press down on the toe pedal and remove your foot from the brake pedal. To release the parking brake, depress and release the brake pedal again. Pre-operational checks. Before cleaning with your machine, there are a few pre-operational checks that need to be done to confirm your machine is ready to be used. Turn on the key and check the fuel level. Check the condition of the main brush.
Remove any string, banding, plastic wrap, or other debris wrapped around the brush. Check the main brush compartment right-hand skirt for damage and wear. Check the optional side sweeping brush. Remove any string, banding, plastic wrap, or other debris wrapped around the brush. Check the debris deflection skirts under the hopper. Check the main brush compartment left-hand skirt for damage and wear. Check the hydraulic fluid level. Check the engine coolant level. Check the engine oil level. Confirm the radiator and hydraulic cooler fins are clean. Check the headlights, tail lights, and safety lights. Check the steering and brakes for proper operation. Check the service records to determine your maintenance requirements. Note, for maximum brush life and best performance, rotate the main brush end to end after every 50 hours of operation. Changing the brushes. To change the main brush, first stop the machine on a level surface. Next, turn off the machine and set the parking brake. Open the driver compartment main brush door to access the brush. Next, unlock the idler plate by pulling on the handle. Firmly grasp the brush idler plate and pull the brush idler plate from the machine. Then pull the brush down and out of the machine. Slide the new brush onto the drive motor hub. Reinstall the brush idler plate onto the machine. Push the handle in to lock the idler plate in place. Close the brush door and confirm it is latched. The optional side brush provides a wider sweeping path and allows you to clean next to walls and racks. To change the side brush, first stop the machine, raise the side brush, raise the hopper, set the parking brake, and turn off the machine. Note. Do not work under the hopper without the safety leg deployed. Remove the brush retainer pin and lower the brush off of the motor shaft. Place the new brush on the motor shaft, install the retainer pin, and secure it. Cleaning with your machine. Before sweeping with your machine, manually pick up oversized debris, wire, string, twine, or any other debris that could become wrapped around or tangled in the brushes. Plan your sweeping in advance and try to arrange long runs with minimum stopping and starting. To begin sweeping, increase the engine speed, turn on the vacuum fan, lower the brushes, release the parking brake, and press the propel pedal. Caution, for safety, drive slowly on inclines, bumpy, uneven, and slippery surfaces. When traveling in reverse, the optional reverse alarm will sound. To stop the machine, release the propel pedal and press the brake pedal. To stop sweeping, raise the brushes, reduce the engine RPM, turn off the vacuum fan, and initiate the dust filter shaker system. Emptying and cleaning the machine. When your hopper is full or when your cleaning is finished, the machine needs to be emptied and cleaned. Initiate the dust filter shaker system. Position the machine near the debris container and raise the hopper. Place the hopper over the container and press the hopper door open switch. Next, close the hopper door Back away from the container and lower the hopper. 
For safety, before leaving or servicing the machine, stop on a level surface, set the parking brake, and turn off the machine. Performing the daily operational checks, making needed adjustments and following the proper operating procedures for your tenant sweeper, will ensure that it will perform in top condition throughout its useful lifetime. You will find it cleans better, has fewer maintenance issues, and effectively enhances the environment for a long time to come.